want to go back to the point that you raised at the very beginning around benefits realization. Um, and um, there are sort of academic studies and, and that have been done around that. And, and the reality is, is when execs were polled around, well, why would I measure benefits where all I'm going to do is find out whether I was wrong or right two years after I made the decision? And, and that was sort of the, the, almost a the word for word response on that. But I think the antithesis to that or the, the, the unfortunate reaction to that is taking something like a key performance indicator and thinking it's a key performance truth, thinking that it's an absolute relative measure of some kind of value creation when actually it might be a leading and lagging in or lagging indicator of the performance of one or several initiatives together. And I other th also have to compliment you, I think the other thing that you talked about is the idea of how do you split attribution? Because it isn't, 99% of the time it's not possible. That comes down to management judgment. All of this folds in for me into a very big, large, messy ball that comes down to exec sponsorship and clear prioritized objectives. And then understanding uh, as a leadership team, which KPIs align to the compass points of those objectives. Whether that's four million units of objective or three million units of objectives, the point is it's the trend is going up. And if these three or five of these things are green, it's going up. Um, you know, the idea that you can look to a five year plan or look to a, a project in 12 months time and say it's gonna deliver on the 15th of December at lunchtime, you know, none of us have the ability to do that. Um, but that's where we have to use measurement to understand that we're moving in the right direction at the right velocity with the right quality. And the bit that goes from that to the outcome, that for me personally is management judgment and management buy-in. Mm -hmm.